You're listening to the My Morning Devotional Podcast, episode 1073. Today's Devo is called Keep Crying Out. Hey there, we're the Alessis, a ministry family working together in our church in Miami, Florida. And if you're like us, when days get busy and to-do lists get longer, it can be hard to find devotional time. That's why we've partnered with our friend Allison to produce a five-minute daily dose of heaven. This is the My Morning Devotional Podcast. Well, happy Wednesday, everybody. Gabby is back with a, I love how I'm talking in third person. I am back, Gabby Lessie. <laughs> I am back with another great episode of My Morning Devo. Today, we're talking about crying out. And I'm not talking about a sad cry. I'm talking about a good cry. We're going to read it right here. Mark 10, 46 through 48. It's a beautiful story about the man called Blind Bartimaeus. And it says this, they came to Jericho and as he was leaving Jericho, being Jesus, with his disciples and a great crowd, Bartimaeus, a blind beggar, the son of Timaeus, was sitting by the roadside. When he had heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And many rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he cried out all the more. Son of David, have mercy on me. On this Wednesday, during the middle of the week, it you might be struggling with something. You might be in the middle of a season where you feel like nobody's listening to you. Nobody can hear you. You might be in a season right now where you feel like you've done all that you can to keep going and you you just are missing something. Maybe it's it's a sickness in your body. You know, it's so difficult. I went through a season a couple years ago where I just went through my own health battle and it was something that we couldn't control. I, I, I so struggled when, you know, sometimes we have struggles that we can control, but it's really difficult when it's a struggle that's just completely out of your hands. And I remember thinking, God, there's no way that, that you would allow this. Like, God, there's no way that this could happen. And I, I had moments where I'd cry at night. I'd have moments where I'd cry to my family. I'd, I'd cry out to the people in my life because I was so frustrated that this health issue, that this sickness, this struggle, it wouldn't just leave. It was constantly lingering. It was co- I was constantly re- being reminded of the thing that I couldn't control. What I love about this story is it talks about crying out to God. It's talking about we might cry once, But just the busyness around us, the people around us, the distractions around us, maybe our cry isn't heard. And this is where we have to learn from blind Bartimaeus. Just because it's not heard the first time doesn't mean we should sit back and go, well, I guess God doesn't hear me. Well, I guess God doesn't want to heal me. I guess God doesn't want to work. Sometimes we need to cry out all the more. Sometimes we need to get God's attention. We need to cry just a little bit louder. We need to get on our knees a little bit longer. We need to stay and say, God, I need you to hear me. A lot of times, I know for me in that season, I would cry to my parents. I'd cry to my sisters. I'd cry to my friends. I don't think I ever sat back and cried out to God. I don't think I had a moment where I sat with the Lord and said, God, please heal me. And this is a beautiful lesson for us to learn that, hey, maybe we cry out once and it's not heard. Not that God can't hear you, but maybe you just, he didn't hear you. Jesus just didn't hear him. There were so many people in the town, he just didn't hear them. And then there were even people that rebuked the blind man for what he was doing. Let me just tell you, you might have friends that you're complaining to and saying, you know, I'm believing God for this. I'm believing God for that. Don't be surprised if they rebuke you. Don't be surprised if they question you for what you're believing God for. But that shouldn't stop us from crying out all the more. So I want to encourage you today. Maybe you're going through something. Cry out all the more to God. God hears you. He wants to bless you. Tomorrow we're going to talk about how much he wants to bless you. But today it starts with crying out to him. Lord, we thank you. We thank you, God, that you're a faithful father. We thank you that you receive the the cries of our heart, God. You already see our situation. You can already see our our struggles. You can see our life and exactly where we are today. God, you see it all. But Lord, you want to hear from us. You want to hear the cries of our heart. So today we just cry out to you. We cry out all the more, Lord, that you would heal us, 
God, that you would provide for us. Lord, that you would bring back that thing that was stolen from us. Lord, that you would comfort us. And I just pray all of this in Jesus' name, amen. So there you have it, your five-minute daily dose of heaven. Thank you so much for tuning in today. We pray these devotionals empower you to take on your day. If you found value in this devotional, share it with a friend, leave a comment or review for us on the app you're using right now. Until tomorrow, we pray that your latte is strong, but your love for Jesus is stronger.